Okay, to begin making an assembly, we have to bring in our initial part and ground it to the assembly coordinate system or the assembly uh, datum planes. We essentially have to lock it in, in the assembly space. So I'm going to bring a part in here. I'll grab one of these S-beams. Um, let me bring in the eight-piece, the eight-hole S-beam. And you can see that, um, that it has a part coordinate system and the assembly coordinate system. So if I would come here under the automatic and select on coordinate system that makes the part coordinate system selectable and you'll notice it says partially constrained up here because there is no constraints on this part until I select on the assembly coordinate system now the status makes it fully constrained and I can say done and if I would come over here with my hand to try to drag it there's nothing clickable because this part is fully locked down. Okay, that was one way of doing it. So I'm going to come over here to my model tree, right click and delete it. And let me bring it in again. But this time I'm going to take the datum planes of the part and match them directly to the datum planes of the assembly. And this would allow me to control its orientation if I didn't want to have it the part oriented in the same directions as the assembly uh, coordinate system. So let's bring the part in. Um, again, I'll use the eight hole S beam. And what I'm going to do here is I'll stay with the automatics, but what I want to do is say that here's the top plane of the part and I want to match that to the front plane of the assembly. And you'll notice up here that it has an offset, but an offset of zero, but I'm just going to tell it I want it to be um, directly coincident. So now the next planes that I can put together would be, here's the right datum plane of the part, and I'll tell it to mate directly to the what is the right datum plane of the assembly. And again, it wants to put in some initial offset. I'm going to say I want it coincident. And then the last planes that I want to match together would be what is the front datum plane on the part to what is the top datum plane on the assembly. Again, so I'll select that one. Again, it would like to make it as <coughs> um, an aligned part so I can move it up and down with respect to those um, with the respect from the front axis plane uh, of the part to the uh, top datum plane of the assembly, but I'm again going to make it coincident, and I'll say OK. And again, there's my part locked down into space. OK, so those are two different ways of bringing your initial part in and making it fully constrained with, which in the, within the assembly.